And now, all the dirt, gardening tips and advice, sponsored by the Turf and Gardening Store. Get the lawn you're looking for. And welcome back as garden season gets going here. We got a couple of decisions to put to bed. Will the plants be in the ground or in raised beds? At Bedford Urban Gardens, raised beds provide a lot of advantages. Well, we have a number of beds for renters, for community people, a lot of people who don't have a space to grow uh, fresh vegetables. Uh, it's primarily vegetables that are grown. Uh, some folks grow some flowers along with that. And uh, so they have a way of growing fresh organic produce. Now tell me a little bit about the garden itself. It looks like, mo in fact, most of all of these are raised beds. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. We have, uh, in fact, this part of the garden here is basically was filled with uh, dirt. And the upper garden is basically the good old Virginia red clay. And so growing that makes it a little tough. So the raised beds. And it also he heats up a little faster, allows a little bit more earlier planting in a lot of cases, uh, a little bit easier to harvest, maintain. Uh, a lot of advantages to growing in raised beds. I, like a lot of people, have this Virginia red clay, and so building these beds up, um, I think that really helped my productivity at home. Is there a secret to a, a bed, how to build a bed up with the soil well, the and key, so forth? The key thing is we use uh, somewhat of a permacultural principle. In other words, the beds are about 20 inches tall, uh, and about 10 inches of that is wood chips. We fill it with wood chips. And then we come back with a quality soil. We use Royal Oak Farms uh, compost, and we fill that up to the, to the top of the bed. And uh, you might say the proof is in the pudding. The produce that we produce is outstanding. Uh, and we basically grow it just in that soil, that compost soil, and uh, works really well. The advantage to that is it generally will warm up faster. The, the darker soil, of course, heats up, maintains the heat. Uh, using that much compost, it also helps retain moisture. Uh, the wood chips also, when they get wet, they will, as it, they begin to, as it gets dry, they'll begin to release moisture. So there's just many advantages to having that raised bed and being able to manage that, managing it from weeding, managing it from fertilization, managing it from pest control. One of the things that I encountered, um, I saw an ad, I don't remember, some classified section, and uh, soil for your garden. So I tried to truck down there. Oh, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and give me a bucket load. Get a bucket load of soil. I take it home. I've got weeds I never had on my property before. Is that an issue? It can be, and that's why you want to make sure that it's fully composted. If your so that soil is not fully composted, then the weed seeds are going to be in there. Mm -hmm. Generally, most of the time, the compost has to make, be at least at 150 degrees for about 72 hours to make sure you kill the weed seeds. Mm -hmm. The one plus about using a quality soil is that they go through that whole process and make sure. And so when you get their soil, it's fully composted, meaning that the pH is about 7 neutral. Um, so depending on you know what you're growing, you might you know change the pH a little bit through either sulfur or uh, lime, depending on what the what you're growing. But um, it's finished compost. I mean, it's when you pick that soil, you should be able to pick it up, smell it, should smell earthy, almost like you could eat it. A Bedford Urban Garden was started in 2013 and now has over 50 beds and the beds are rented for this season already, but you can contact them for more information. They're happy to share their knowledge. We have a link to their website at WFXRTV.com.